Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like my past few videos have been a little more serious and focused, so I thought I would come back today with a little bit of a more fun video. In the past few weeks, I have gotten a lot of new subscribers, so I thought it would be fun to give you guys a little bit more of an inside look into who I am behind the camera. But if you are an old subscriber, don't you worry. I think some of these facts will give you a little bit more of an idea of who I am, why I do the things I do, and I think maybe many of them you haven't heard me speak about before. So in keeping this intro short, let's jump right into the facts. I am not a night person, not in any way, shape, or form. I am that annoying little morning bird that is chirping in your window. I love mornings. I feel most productive in mornings. I feel the most alive and awake. And at night, I am the complete opposite. I am a totally different person. Once 6 p.m. hits, I am tired. Once 8 hits, if my kids are not in bed by 8.30, 9 o'clock the latest, mean grouchy mom starts to come out. It's kind of funny really because my husband is the opposite. He is a night person so it makes for a very interesting household at times. I met my husband when I was 15 years old. We started dating when I was 16 years old and we were married by the time I was 18 years old. So yes, I was a young bride and I don't regret it for a second. When I was a young child, I asked my mother if I could be a vegetarian. So the whole vegan lifestyle thing is kind of just an extension of my childhood. At the time, my mom did not allow it because I was a very sickly child and she knew that I wouldn't be able to keep up with all the supplementation, but she did always encourage fruits and vegetables and I think that's why today that is the main source of my diet and nutrition and the reason I love healthy foods the way I do now. I have horrible memory and memory loss. And when I say horrible, I mean awful. There are things that I remember only because my family has it on film. It is so bad that there are times that I wonder if I have fabricated something in my head because my memory is so bad and I can't figure out if I have created things or manipulated situations. This sounds so crazy. <laughs> but basically I remember things and then I talk about them to somebody else and they're like, that never happened. So it makes me question the way my brain works. As I mentioned earlier, when I was a child, I was very sickly and my doctor did mention that it could possibly affect memory loss as an adult or as I grow up. I don't know and they can't say for certain if that did have an effect on me, but I can tell you that I definitely have awful memory loss and I feel bad because I think people just think I don't remember things for the sake of being just disinterested, but that is not the case at all. I am about 10 years out from high school graduation and I have already forgotten at least the first two years of high school. There is so much from those days that I don't recall, I don't remember, and I hate that. And it's one of the reasons I take so much um, video footage and photos of my children because I have this legit fear that my memory loss is gonna get worse the older I get and there are gonna be things about them that I don't remember. I have no desire for any more children. None, zit, nada, not a single ounce of me wants another child. I am not that woman that gets the itch whenever I hold a baby. I do love babies, I love children, and I actually went to school to teach like toddler age children, but I just don't get that itch to have more myself, and I'm very happy when I can hand them back over to their mothers. I always hear that when you know you're done having kids, you just know, like there's no question in your mind, and that is definitely me. If by some chance I ever got pregnant again, of course, you know, I would have open arms for that child and love that child. I just don't have a desire to plan for it. I know that I am done, I'm happy with my boy and my girl, and I'm happy with their age distance. Elephants are my favorite animal. I am obsessed with them. We even have a very large painting hanging up on our wall of a family of elephants and I have a tattoo on my back of an elephant. And in October, my husband and I are actually planning a trip to Thailand to volunteer at an elephant sanctuary for two days. I find everything about them mesmerizing, just their beauty and their loyalty and their bonds. It's, it's the most fascinating, incredible creature to me and I could not be more thrilled for our trip to Thailand to spend 
very close personal one-on-one -on -one time with the elephants. I'm so excited. Christmas is my favorite time of the year and I'm not just talking about Christmas itself. I'm not talking about gifts. I could do without gifts and be perfectly happy. I love everything about Christmas, the ambiance, the environment, the music, the lights. I love going to shopping malls and just seeing people laughing and smiling and spending time with their family. I am that crazy mom that will wear an ugly Christmas sweater every day and my kids, we have so many events and so many things that we plan out during those months and whenever Christmas goes away, I feel a great deal of sadness. I just love it so much. In fact, this morning I told my kids that we have 10 months until Christmas and they kind of looked at me like, okay. But to me, it's like we're two months closer to Christmas and I, it's an unhealthy obsession. I have severe wanderlust. I mean severe. I don't know if it's because of my upbringing. We moved around a lot when I was a child, but I just have no desire at the end of my life to be settled into a home. My desire is to travel the world with a purpose. I want to create some kind of organization that helps to give back and travel the world and make a difference in other people's lives. I love learning about new cultures and meeting new people. I think a lot of parents, they have this hope for their children to grow up and go to college and get a job, have a family, get a house, and I just, I don't really have that desire. My desire for my children is that they grow up and they figure out something to do for work that contributes to a greater cause, that they will want to travel the world and help others and just contribute to the bettering of our world. And maybe that's unconventional, but I just find so much joy in meeting other people and, and experiencing different cultures and I really hope and pray that the way we are raising our children will kind of encourage them to do the same. My husband and I are night and day, complete night and day. For example, as I mentioned earlier, I am a morning person through and through. He is a night person. He comes alive at night. I am more laid back and relaxed. He is more intense and focused and driven. I am more of an optimist, whereas he is more of a realist. I see the glass half full and he sees the glass half empty. He is literally my yin to my yang. And I think it makes for a very interesting marriage. It can be really, really difficult at times because we do not communicate the same. We do not see, the th see things the same way. He is very black and white and I'm very shades of gray. But I also think it makes for a very, very strong union because we balance each other out. So it's hard, it's difficult at times, but again, I think it just makes for a very strong union and I just, I worship him. <laughs> It sounds so silly, but I worship, I worship my husband. If I wasn't doing what I'm doing now and I had to work a more traditional, maybe nine to five job, I would want to either be in the marketing and branding field or I would like to be an interior decorator. I think both of these things kind of have the same appeal and the same purpose, just one is more for business and one is more for someone's personal life. I think branding a person or a business or creating an image, it helps a company or a person express themselves, show the world what they have to offer, what they want people to see in them, what they want to share with the world. And I just find people and the way they think to be so fascinating and the way everybody is so different. I would love to work with that on a day-to-day -day basis to really capture somebody's essence and turn that into something that they can physically show the world. And that is it. 10 fun facts about me. If you guys would like to join in on the fun, please leave a comment down below with a random fact about you. Subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this and leave a comment letting me know what video you would like to see next. Ring that little notification bell down there so you can be notified of new videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!